All right, now we're going to turn to another big story we are following tonight. An Oakland County Sheriff's deputy now terminated after being accused of trying to meet up with a teenage girl for sex. We want to welcome you to 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. An online vigilante says he pretended to be a 15-year-old and texted back and forth with the deputy. It is certainly a scary scenario for parents. The Justice Department estimates there are some 50,000 predators seeking out children online at any given moment. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig spoke with the vigilante and the sheriff about the deputy now off the job. When he was busted, this Oakland County Sheriff's deputy was still in his probationary period, but the sheriff says he'll never wear the uniform again. Yeah, he planned on meeting up, you know, like after he got off of work because he said he worked from 3 to 11 at, at the jail. Robert Lee is an online vigilante using messaging apps to scout out suspected child predators and out them to police or on social media. And over the weekend, he was messaging a man who texted him his photo, said he was 33 and that he worked at the jail, the one in Pontiac. To me, the stupidity was the surprise. Like, you really telling this girl you at the jail right now? Like, you really... Like, it was really easy to get him. He wasn't skeptical. I mean, he tried to, you know, talk easy in the beginning, then he got a little dirty later on. Robert Lee was posing as a 15-year-old girl. A friend let him use her photo. Say I'm 18, then I tell him I'm 15, and if you continue to talk after that, that means you, you're a child predator. Turns out the suspect was an Oakland County Sheriff's deputy, now accused of trying to engage the person he thought was 15 for sex. This was a five month probationary employee that clearly didn't live up to the ethics standard and judgment that we expect from our employees and he's no longer employed here. Lee took the picture he says the man sent him and posted on Facebook. Someone then contacted the sheriff's office after some of Lee's followers were able to identify the man as a deputy. You know people in and out of jail all day so it was like yeah I know him from the jail. The sheriff says online vigilantes don't always get the evidence that's actually needed to prosecute a suspected child predator. Internal Affairs has now confiscated the deputy's phone as part of their investigation. If there's any possible criminal activity, we would encourage people to contact us, whether it involves an employee of ours or the general public, and allow us the opportunity to investigate it and, and ascertain if criminality is in fact afoot. Lee said the deputy got word that his picture was going around on Facebook and later tried to say it wasn't him. Yeah, he said it was somebody using his profile, but, you know, I heard that story plenty of times. So all the predators say that. Sheriff investigators expect to turn their findings over to the prosecutor by tomorrow. In Pontiac, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Well, this is something 7 Action News has covered many times before. Vigilantes trying to catch alleged child sex predators online. In 2019, we shared a warning from Michigan's Attorney General Dana Nessel. Nessel said the behavior hinders their investigation efforts and also warned anyone caught in the act this way will not be prosecuted. She said the actions could result in the suppression of important evidence.